from Color 10, breaking news. Right now, four people missing in two different locations. First, police need your help finding a man and his two children. Police Chief Paul Williams says that one of the victims was Springfield Police Officer Christopher Walsh. Three other people who were in the store at the time were also shot and killed. Another victim is in the hospital. 28-year-old Nathan Sneed was originally charged with third-degree domestic assault. Now he could be facing a prison sentence. Our David Chasanov spoke with Sheriff Jim Arnott today. He joins us live from the Greene County Jail. In Greene County alone, according to Feeding America, about 42 thousand people are food insecure and so as you can imagine that is putting a huge strain on our local food banks and food pantries. Another question that we received from a viewer is there any indication how long this vaccine will be effective how often we'll have to get it. So the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers actually issued a permit to a private landowner to build this and from what we're hearing they never inspected it after it was built. More flurries fell across the area today but strap in because we haven't seen anything yet, which isn't good news for those farmers either. Boy, what a difference a week can make in our weather. One week ago, we were looking at zero degrees, snow all over the ground, blackouts happening. But one week later, today we are moving toward the warmest day of the year. A beautiful sunset shaping up over Springfield tonight. And we are looking right now. It appears that someone, um, a couple of people are being handcuffed. It looks like one, two, three from what I'm counting right here on the scene, possibly four officers arresting people. It appears they are in handcuffs, taking them away from this scene. It's happening now. It's been almost nine months since the pandemic caused cities to shut down and people to stay home. And now hospitals are busy preparing for a possible baby boom they believe is an unexpected result of the quarantine. This is an annual event, but you did mention COVID, so I have to ask, is this year going to be different than years past? Leslie Rutledge is warning our Kansans about con artists who are impersonating contact tracers, then trying to steal your money and identity. A Braves fan in California. Maybe that's what got him pulled over. <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> that's what it was. He did get a ticket, by the way. That's it for us here at 10. Thanks for watching.